Right. To market? Hello, strange friends and friendly strangers. I'm Laurel Webb, a writer in progress. And today, we're talking about writing to market. What is it? And should you do it? Let's start off by being very clear. This discussion is not either or. I'm not talking about two mutually exclusive things here. As in, you either write to market or you don't. Think of this as a spectrum on which a story can match its market perfectly, not at all, or most likely somewhere in between. It is also important to understand that the market is not some universal or monolithic thing. A book written to market in one niche will look very different from a book written to market in a different niche. The market for sweet romance is completely different from that of YA fantasy. There may be some overlap in readers, but even then, the reader is looking for something different depending on which book they choose to pick up. My final reminder before we get started is that people are different. Some people are at their happiest when writing a book that matches every trope and beat in their chosen niche and never struggle with this at all. Other people may get bored with one niche and feel better genre hopping, while others truly can't be happy unless they write the story of their heart, which may not match the market at all. Try to accept yourself as you are, whichever category you relate to. This is not the talk where I try to convince you that you can either write the book you love or the book that sells and never the twain shall meet. That's a conversation you need to navigate with yourself. With all that said, let's talk about writing to market. What does write to market even mean? For my purposes, Writing to market is when the author tailors their writing to match the expectations of a particular type of reader. A book written to market should be the expected length, point of view, and tense of other books within the niche. It should also contain the specific tropes that the audience expects. A niche, a small subgenre within a larger genre of books, can be large or small, hungry or not, oversaturated or underserved. Many people are diehard readers of a particular niche, and there can be backlash for a writer who misses genre expectations too badly. For example, a book marketed as a romance should always, and I literally mean always, every single book, no exceptions, have a happily ever after ending. There are many types of books that allow for sad endings with broken-hearted main characters, but romance readers do not pick up romance books with those endings in mind. Romance readers want a happily ever after, and if you don't deliver, you will be raked over the coals and given negative reviews. How can you write to market? So let's assume that you are going to, at least to some extent, try writing to market. The first step is to try to find your market. I suggest writing within a niche that you actually enjoy reading. It is possible, and there are actually people who are extremely successful at this, to research a niche to the point of being able to churn out numerous stories according to a formula. More power to you if that's your jam. The thought of doing that kind of work crushes my soul a little bit, so I won't be going there. If you decide to write in a niche that you actually like, finding your market is as simple as identifying the common tropes that you enjoy reading, which other readers presumably also enjoy. Try to zero in on exactly what you like about books in your niche. YA readers often cite the fast pace, highly emotional content, and strong female main characters as reasons they like the genre. People who read romance usually have a clear preference for one heat level or another. If it's too tame or too steamy, they're not interested. Military sci-fi fans want to see a particular type of world building in just the right amount. 
Why do you like the books you read? Identify the niche you want to write in, then identify the common threads that make up that niche. Niche research, along with market research and keyword research, can be a whole can of worms and therefore we'll have to wait for another video. If you're interested in those nitty gritties, checking out Chris Fox is a great place to start. If you aren't bothered by the schmexy stuff, the Erotic Authors subreddit has some incredible resources as well. All right, but what about... Maybe your chosen niche is tiny and it seems impossible to find any readers at all. Maybe your niche is so oversaturated that the competition just to be seen is brutal. Or maybe you love most aspects of your niche, but there is some major part that just doesn't sit right for you. What then? If you're entirely concerned with the money aspect, go back into research mode and find a more favorable niche. By broadening or narrowing your focus, you may find something more lucrative. Or maybe switching niches entirely is the way to go. If you're entirely concerned by the art aspect, quit wasting time on research and write exactly the book that you want to, with the understanding that it may not find an audience. Sometimes a story just has to be written in a particular way and market research be damned. Most writers probably fall somewhere in between these extremes, though. Let me take a little detour to talk about one of my favorite topics. Beer. A while back. A year. Maybe. Who knows at this point. I saw an article about how hard seltzer was going to destroy craft brewing. Apparently, everyone wants hard seltzer these days, and nobody wants beer. But here's the thing. I want beer. I'll take a local beer over a White Claw every single time. Hell, I'll take Bud Light over Budweiser seltzer every single time. And I know that I'm not alone. Hard seltzers may make it much more difficult for craft breweries to compete in the larger marketplace, but there is still a market for beer. The same goes for books that aren't written exactly to market. There are people who want to read about ugly, scary vampires instead of shiny, sexy ones. There are people who want to read YA fantasy that has no romantic subplot. There are people who want to read about shapeshifters without any of the Omegaverse baggage. The key is finding the audience for your particular brand of Not to Market and writing for them. Your Not to Market books will likely never hit it quite as big as the formulaic, insert genre here, books that make people six or seven figures. But chances are, if you want to read this particular book, someone else does too. You just have to find your audience and connect with them. And finally, let me make one final suggestion. There is a marked difference between writing to market and chasing trends. Even if you get really lucky and catch a trend as it becomes popular, your success won't be evergreen. You'll find yourself desperately chasing the next trend again soon enough. And you will most likely find yourself on a track to crash and burn out entirely. So those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. Let's continue this conversation in the comments. What niche do you write in? Are there any tropes in your niche that you ignore, hate, or follow religiously? I would also, of course, love it if you hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, etc. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as Laurel Webb Author. Until next time, I hope you're safe, and I hope you're writing. Goodbye. <laughs>